what like it's it's great fun every year this is something the community asked me to sort of organize and this is year nine now that we've been doing this so every year it's a bit of a standing joke that i can't the event so they always get me a suit to wear you know the, the community group so this year i think they went a bit all out and they made me look a bit foolish but sure it's Christmas, so that's what people expect. Yeah, thankfully, because it's so blustery this morning, and the guys put up the first gazebo at about nine o'clock. They had to take it down again. So, thankfully, the weather the weather got a lot better. The wind calmed down, and the sun actually came out for a while. So, I reckon we will have about eight hundred people there tonight. Actually, we had to go and get more selection boxes for the kids and stuff. So, really, really good night, and the queue's huge, and the DJ's really keeping the keeping the party going tonight. And there's been loads of acts on stage. We had Aladdin over from Portadown Panto. We had the local dance group Fad doing a singing singing song. And, the school choir every year have been here for the last nine years, and they've done a couple of couple of numbers as well. So it's been real good fun. We started, it was, you know, it all started with, as it as it does now on Facebook messages about nine years ago. We always had a Christmas tree in Donnacloney, and one of the parents contacted me and said, "Would well, it be nice to have a few carols around the tree?" So it's really just it's really just mushroomed from that. Um, and in the first couple of years, we associated with Donnacloney Rural Needs as it was then, and we just called ourselves Santa's Little Helpers, and really just done the you know the Christmas the Christmas tree light switch on. But as with all these things, you know, you get lots of people getting involved and um, doing, you know, working harder every year and just coming up with all these fantastic ideas. So now we have, now we have a great event. Most of the village come out tonight. I think there's eight or nine hundred people here, as I've said, in the over there dancing over in the Elam car park. He very kindly lend us their uh, car park every year, which is right beside the tree. And we had Santa come down tonight in the in the horse and sleigh, and uh, we've had loads of things over the years. So next year is the big year, year ten, and we're we're looking for. We're looking for a big one next year, so plans have already started. Yeah, the council, the council have been great, and they always have had for from year one. Actually, this year the council sort of looked after the twilight market end of things, and they, you know, the funding we get from them every year, we get like 750 quid or something from a from a financial assistance grant. And without it, we just we just couldn't do it. There's lots of volunteer time, volunteer time, and lots of people do put their hands in their pockets too to pay for it because. It takes a lot of organising, I can tell you. It takes a lot of organising and it takes quite a bit of money to get it over. But it's really, really well supported. And a wee girl said to me the other day, oh, Mark, I'm not missing that. It's the event of the year. We just love it. You know, so that really makes it all worthwhile. And to see the kids tonight really, really enjoying it, shouting and singing for Santa. We get the fake snow machine and all on. They all seem to have a ball. So it's great for the village. As you say, topped off by the turnout of the big man in the end as well. The big man. Always a star of the show, no matter who you have here. We've had some stars over the years. But whenever Santa comes, he's really he's really the main event. And I think because we have it just at the end of November, um, Santa hasn't really been about much, so the children really love to see it. Their first, the first Santa of the year, and of course there's a free gift for every every primary school age child as well. So, sure, just to wrap up, I'm sure you want to wish everybody a happy Christmas. Absolutely, from everybody at Donald Clooney Events Team and everybody from Donald Clooney, a very very happy Christmas to to all your readers and your watchers.